Good afternoon, scholars. I'm Sister Johnson, and welcome back to our last literacy hour before our spring break. Before we get into our text, which is no mush today, I would like to share some of your work. For the Sunday Shopping Graphic Organizer, Sister Arby drew strawberries and cookies. Brother Nakai created categories for his shopping list, food, toys, and school supplies. For his toys, one of his items was Sonic. For food, he listed chicken, apples, and chips. And for his school supplies, he listed pencils and books. Sister Alasia illustrated noodles, milk, and ice cream. Sister Michaela created a list that included clothes and a ball. And Sister Ava illustrated a baby doll she'd once seen on an advertisement. Scholars, it's Friday. We've come to the end of our second week of our cyber program. And I would like to thank all the scholars who have participated. Thank you so much for sending in your work and sharing your ideas with me. Our text today is another book written by the author, Sally Derby. It's titled, No Mush Today. Let's take a look at our graphic organizer. Parents, before we begin, please change the title of Sunday Shopping to No Mush Today on the first question. What is one thing you notice about the illustration on the cover of Sunday Shopping? It should say, No Mush Today. Thank you so much. All right, scholars, so let's complete our notice. What is one thing you notice about the illustration on the cover of No Mush Today? Now move on to our wonder. What is one thing you wonder about the story? Do you have any questions about the text? You can write one there. Please take five minutes to complete this section. Here is a picture of the front cover for you to refer to. Welcome back, scholars. Now that you have completed your notice and wonder, let's read. No Mush Today by Sally Derby, illustrated by Nicole Tadjell. Not gonna eat my mush, not gonna eat it, I say. Squishy, yucky, yellow stuff. M mush is baby food. Putting on my shiny shoes, going over to grandma's. No mushy mush at grandma's house. No balling baby there. Grandma attends when I'm talking. Calls me her sweet pea nani. Grandma, I'm coming to live with you. She hugs me and says, I see. Off we go to grown-up church. Shiny shoes and Sunday hat. Morning, Miss Charlotte. Folks call out. How you doing, nani? Daddy winks when he passes the plate, trying to make me smile. I frown instead, drop my offering in, ten pennies, a nickel, a dime. Open church door, doors, laughing, hugging, sunshine streaming in. Everyone's asking, see you there? See you there at the picnic? Nobody told me about a picnic today. Nobody, nobody, no one. Come on, sweet pea, Grandma says. We'll all go together. Church ladies picnic is better than mush. Lemonade, chicken, three kinds of cake. How's your mama? Church ladies ask. How's that baby brother?
Grandma's bones want a Sunday sit. My bones want to move. Give you a boat ride? Daddy asks. Maybe. Maybe. All right, I say. Daddy likes to show me things. Turtles, fish, ducks. Ducklings stick with their families, he says. Lots to learn from ducks. Next to paddle boats, I like swings. Whee! Watch me fly. My swing is going way up, way up with Daddy pushing me. Grandma comes and says, time to go. Bathtub's waiting, Nani. Family's leaving one by one, going home together. Mama's waiting by the gate. Baby's reaching for me. Look at him smiling, Mama says. We're so glad you're home. Baby's been missing me some, I ask. Mama nods, attending now. Maybe I'll sleep home one more night. Maybe, maybe if... Promise, Mama. Promise, please. Promise. No mush tomorrow. The end. All right, scholars. I hope that you enjoyed No Mush today. Now that we have completed our story, let's check out our graphic organizer again. The book No Mush Today relates to our essential question of freedom. Who am I? When I am free to be my best family member, because it is a story about family. For number one, you are going to write the names of the family members and no mush today inside of each box on the family tree. Once you're finished, move on to number two. Throughout the story, Nani experiences different feelings. Number two says, how does Nani feel in the beginning of the story? How do her feelings change at the end? All right, scholars, now that your graphic organizer is complete, please participate in Dare Time. Choose a book and read independently for 15 minutes. Your liberation work is to take a picture of your family tree and send it to our nation's email, grade one at SFA. CS .us. Congo Nation, we have come to the end of our literacy hour. Thank you so much for tuning in these last two weeks. And I will miss you over the next two weeks. But I pray that you have an enjoyable and safe spring break. See you next time.